This video is brought to you by Mind Valley. What do you desire? What makes you itch? What sort of a situation would you like? Let's suppose I do this often in vocational guidance of students. They come to me and say, well, we're getting out of college and we haven't the faintest idea what we want to do. So I always ask the question, what would you like to do if money were no object? What, how would you really enjoy spending your life? Crowds of students say, well, we'd like to be painters, we'd like to be poets, we'd like to be writers, but as everybody knows, you can't earn any money that way. Or another person says, well, I'd like to live an out-of-doors life and ride horses. But let's go through with it. What do you want to do? When we finally got down to something which the individual says he really wants to do, I will say to him, you do that and uh, forget the money. Because if you say that getting the money is the most important thing, you will spend your life completely wasting your time. You'll be doing things you don't like doing in order to go on living, that is to go on doing things you don't like doing, which is stupid. Better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. And after all, if you do really like what you're doing, it doesn't matter what it is, you can eventually turn it, uh, you could eventually become a master of it. It's the only way to become a master of something, to be really with it. But it's absolutely stupid to spend your time doing things you don't like in order to go on spending things you don't like, doing things you don't like, and to teach your children to follow in the same track. See, what we're doing is we're bringing up children and educating them to live the same sort of lives we're living, in order that they may justify themselves and find satisfaction in life by bringing up their children, to bring up their children to do the same thing, so it's all wretch and no vomit. It never gets there. But if you take time out to think about that and really go into it with your full strength of imagination and find out whether that's where you want to be, you will soon see that's not what you want. Figure out some way in which you get paid for playing. But in our culture, we make an extremely rigid division between work and play. You are supposed to work in order to earn enough money to give you sufficient leisure time for something entirely different called having fun or play. And this is the most ridiculous division of things because everything that we do, however tough it is, however strenuous, can be turned into the same kind of play as I was showing you and I was completely fascinated with spinning that orange around my head. Imagine too if you were a bus driver. Bus driver is ordinarily considered an absolutely harassed person. He's got to watch out for all the laws, all the competing traffic, uh, the cops, the people coming on board giving their fares and he has to give them change. And if he has it in his head that this is work, it will be hell. But let's suppose he has a different thing in his head. Supposing he has the idea that moving this enormous conveyance through complicated traffic is a very, very subtle game. And he has the same feeling about it that you might have if you were playing the guitar or uh, dancing. And so he goes through that traffic, avoiding this and avoiding that and taking a fare like this, and he, he makes a music of the whole thing. Well, he's not going to be tired out at the end of the day. He's going to be full of energy when he gets through his job. Don't make a distinction between work and play. Regard everything that you're doing as play and don't imagine for one minute that you've got to be serious enough. You see, a lot of people don't feel happy unless they have another thing beyond money, which is called status. And status to a very large extent in our economy consists in conspicuous consumption. 
in having this thing and that thing and the other thing, in having a swimming pool, Ferrari, uh, a certain kind of clothes and uh, a certain kind of house with an enormous round style picture window and so on and so on and so on. And we think uh, we need all that because we've been persuaded by a certain kind of propaganda because we haven't asked ourselves whether that was what we really wanted. A lot of people don't believe they exist until they see their activities reported in the newspaper. And so we are always in a dither of doubt as to whether we're behaving the right way, doing the right thing, and so on and so forth, and lack a certain kind of self-confidence. And if you see you lack self-confidence, you will make mistakes through sheer fumbling. If you do have self-confidence, you may carry, get away with doing entirely the wrong thing. But if you will treat yourself for a while as a cloud or wave and realize that you can't make a mistake, whatever you do, because even if you do something that seems to be totally disastrous, it'll all come out in the wash somehow or other. Then through this capacity, you will develop a kind of confidence and through confidence, you will be able to trust your own intuition. What do you really want? I have proposed that uh, there be an entirely new kind of college entrance examination in which instead of answering a lot of silly questions, you write for about 20 pages on your idea of paradise. It can be any kind of paradise you want. It can be very spiritual, it can be very sensuous, but spell it out. What do you want to happen in life? And then you will hand this thesis in to an assigned tutor on the faculty. And he'll read it over and examine you closely as to whether this is what you really want. And being very careful about what you desire, because there's a good saying, be careful of what you desire you may get it. A better you every day. Access classes, live trainings, and coaching for every area of your life. Connect with students from around the world. Learn from the world's greatest teachers on personal transformation. Sample the full curriculum with free quest lessons. Get four new guided meditations daily. Connect with the community in free online events. A better education. Designed for you. Level up with MindValley. Try Mind Valley for free at go.mindvalley.com/motiversity.